we are back with another episode of Hen Homes. And today we... What? Okay, ready? All right. We are back with another episode of Cooking with Hen Homes. I don't know about you, but we are loving how the weather is cooling down and we're getting to the fall vibes. Fall is one of our favorite seasons. And well, part of it is like, my birthday's in it. But anyway. <laughs> Um, but no, not all about me. Anyway, maybe, <laughs> just a little bit. All right, so we are gonna make Zupa Toscana today, and this is a huge hit uh, at my client appreciation events. If For those of you who have been to our events, I've made this more than once, and it's been requested uh, again and again. So um, we're gonna show you how to make it today, and it's very easy, and you can, um, put it in the crock pot and set it and forget it. It's a great one to add to your fall recipes for the season, so let's get started. All right, to get everything, all the ingredients you need together for this recipe, you're going to do, uh, you're gonna chop up four to six russet potatoes, 32 ounces of chicken broth, one cup of chopped kale, one large onion chopped, a quarter cup of real bacon pieces, one cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of garlic, two tablespoons of flour, and you wanna get some Italian sausage. And to get that, I don't know if you guys have had Olive Garden Zuppa Toscana, um, but really try to get that feel. It's really good there. Um, you wanna go with the hot Italian sausage. First, you wanna start by browning your sausages, cutting them lengthwise and then in slices. Next, you're going to add your chicken broth, potatoes, onions, minced garlic, and sausage into the crock pot. You're gonna cook it on high for about three to four hours and on low for about five to six hours. I recommend putting in all of your chopped ingredients first and then your liquid just because the other way around might result in a mess. All right. Now, once you put in your chicken broth, you want to get some water and add just enough water to cover the vegetables. Okay, we are going to let that cook for four hours and um, we're gonna get some work done. So we'll see you again in a bit. Once your soup has been cooking for three to four hours, you're going to add your flour into your heavy cream until the lumps are gone. Then you're going to add that mixture of cream and flour, your bacon and the kale, 30 minutes before serving until the broth thickens slightly. So we are going to, yeah, as Lauren said, we're going to cook on high for an additional 30 minutes to let the soup thicken, and then it'll be ready to serve. I'll get the camera. Okay, once your soup is finally finished, it's gonna look something like this. Okay. It's a little a lighter in color, and it smells very good. Mmm. This reminds me of fall. Um, <laughs> I mean, I feel like, at least with mine, I don't know about overall, like I probably could have put a little more kale in it. Yeah. Like it doesn't, doesn't have that much, but I like I like kale, so it could also be a personal preference. Pretty much knew what to expect with this one, since it's yeah. one that I make all the time, but I definitely recommend it, and um... You guys should give yeah. it a try. Yep. 